What's up guys? Johnny here with Team Legit. Uh, got an exciting product for you guys today. We've been working on this for uh, some time now. Actually, actually, it looks like this product's gonna have to wait because uh, looks like our friend, our friends from over at UAVRC is just showing up. Let's see what we got. What's up, Tony? Hey, what's up? What do we got here? Uh, A little package. Wait and open it up. Yeah, let's check it out. Looks pretty cool. Stick that on the table there. Let's see what that is. If you guys uh, haven't seen any of the other videos, Tony over at UAVRC has the best service, man. This guy. Does drive through recording. drive through service for us and uh, <laughs> delivers us packages. Let's see what this is. Let's get this camera set up. Want to open it up right now? Yeah, let's open it up. Why not? Okay. Cut it open. What is this thing? It's like a new toy. New toy. Ah, looks like uh, Santa's got some new and exciting products for us. Although it's. Uh, Middle of January already. <laughs> Let's see what this thing is. Oh wow, it's a big heavy box. What is this? Take a Don't tell guess. me this is a new quad you guys are building. No, those are not ready until probably late February, early March. <laughs> nice. Tony's got a couple prototype quad. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Not yet. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. Some people have seen it at the barbecue, but. Ah. Barbecue. Uh, Tony's talking about a barbecue. Uh, something that we do all the time. We try to collaborate and, you know, we take uh, funds that we make and things like that. We try to put it back in the community. We set up FPV events, barbecues, uh, gatherings, things like that. This is a pretty nice hard shell box. What is this? Move it over. Surprise, surprise. What is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It says DJI on it. <laughs> DJI. Don't do anything crazy with it. Could this be? Do anything crazy like what? Like fly, like over, the fly White over, House? over the White House? Jesus. It seems like uh, it's been a bad month so far for UAVs. First that dummy flying over the uh, international airport. Yes. And then today on the news, somebody flying over the uh, White House. Come on, guys. Common sense. This thing looks great, whatever it is. Is this the Ronin? This is not the Ronin. Oh man. Not the Ronin. Oh my goodness. I feel very inspired right now. <laughs> the DJI Inspire 1. We've been waiting to get Finally. our hands on one of these. Finally, right? Nice. Well, let's just do a review on this right now then. Okay. Mmm. Smells like Chinese made boxes. This is actually a really nice box. This actually this just came like off this? the DHL truck. Does it? Yes. Did it really come like this in the case? It comes just like this. Well, as you guys can see, it's got a nice little travel case here. Uh, it's got zippers to open it, which is probably TSA approved. Let's open this bad boy. DJI Inspire. I know there's a lot. Oh my goodness. I know there's a lot of guys out there already doing some reviews and things like that, but we couldn't wait to get our hands on one of these things. Wow, this thing looks great. The box is nice, huh? Yes, it is actually. It's got a nice box with nice foam. This comes like this? It comes just like this. Wow. I know out there they have a couple of uh, Pelican cases for them as well. Okay. Uh, and I think, think Go the... Professional has one. Right. It's a lot larger and it can carry more items in there. But... Go Professional, not to be confused with GoPro. No. Right. Go Professional makes these uh, really nice heavy duty boxes, but wow, I got the props. It looks like you got two. Four, six, eight props. So you've got a full set of replacement props. Check it out. Wow, this thing is a beast. We saw this at the uh, Drone Expo uh, just a couple weeks back. Uh, we were talking to the DJI guys. Smart battery. Wow. Smart as in uh, you press this, put it down, and run. Kind or, uh, or if you're going to try to. Smart as is smarter than the guys flying them over the White House. <laughs> That is definitely that kind true. of smart. That kind of smart. Wow, this thing looks great. Well, let's put this aside real quick and see what else comes in the box. Looks like we've got a uh, lipo, charger. lipo charger here uh, with the connectors for the lipo battery. It looks the like special. It might be the same one as the Phantom. It does. Yeah, it looks like it's similar. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, but close. you know better than I do. I don't fly Phantoms, but uh, we got what is that? This is the gimbal. No way. Yes, take it out. Wow, let's check that thing out. 
Look at that. Beauty. This thing is actually a lot lighter than I imagined. Yeah. This is a 4K camera, micro SD card recorder. Micro SD card is included as well. Yes. Wow, they didn't go, they didn't even cut corners on this. Looks like we got a Lexar 16 gigabyte class 10 SD card in there. I'm having trouble getting it out, but we'll leave it in there. Nice little gimbal. And I, I understand that these are going to be um, interchangeable to a handheld yes, gimbal as well too. Yes. Very cool, very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were kind of excited about this uh, DJI Inspire 1. So we got the gimbal. Got a nice little protecting case for the gimbal. Uh, help keep it uh, nice and tucked away for its travels. Little warranty card. What's this? Little manual? Little manual. Little manual. Hey, let's just be like everybody else. Who needs a manual? Let's just go out and fly it, right? Throw it out. Guys, please read this manual. Don't crash into the garage door, please. <laughs> Most of you have seen that one. <laughs> you can tell we watch a lot of YouTube Auto videos Autopilot, huh? All right, so we've got the transmitter here with a nice little case here for your iPhone, iPad? iPhone, iPad mini, oh. and the uh, iPad Air. Wow. Yes. Okay, so this, I'm uh, You have to, here, newbie. Newbie. DJI newbie. Yeah, There's right. this uh, little clear ah, okay. protective. Okay, very Click cool. Click the button and it slides There down. we go. I wonder, I don't have my phone. I wonder if my Note 4 would be, oh, but this is only uh, Apple iPhone, <coughs> we'll do. iPhone. Up, I'm down, whatever, the other way. I'm an Android guy. I'm one of those Android guys. Oh, okay, so this would go like this, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, or the iPad. And then this turns? Uh, you can swivel it up and down. Looks like, uh, well, we'll yeah. figure that out, but uh, what's this? The mode selector. Okay, home, home. home. Mm -hmm. as in to lock on home. Yeah. Wow, this transmitter looks good. Look at the back, it has HDMI ports. Holy cow, this, oh, that's right. It's this has the light, light bridge, bridge built, built into in. it. Yes. So you can plug your HDMI right in here. This would plug into your phone yes. to give you that HDMI display. Correct. Wow. This transmitter, I actually saw it at the show, and I thought it looked kind of toyish, I want to say. Maybe like uh, like a Nintendo controller or something like that. But it actually feels pretty well, good in the end. it feels pretty good. It feels a lot better than the Phantom uh, series uh, radios. Plus it has, you know, a lot more features. In well, there. HDMI looks like it's got USB. a USB. Looks like it has the uh, DJI um, common, like the, what is that, the hub plug? Yes. So for hub and things like that, HDMI, you got uh, HDMI micro. I'm looking here, it looks like this is for the gimbal. Gimbal controls. We got PAF. What is that? Not sure. PAF. Huh, we're going to have to look into the manual there and check out what PAF is. Another switch. Is this the uh, auto self-destruct switch? <laughs> That's I the wish. one fly over the White House switch. <laughs> <laughs> Play. It looks like there's a record. Oh, I think this, if I'm not mistaken, might be the snapshot button to take snapshot pictures. Selfie? Either way. Selfie button? Yeah, what? Yeah, selfie. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, what we'll do here is uh, we're going to definitely put this thing through its paces. Okay, so we've got the transmitter here. It's let's this. put that down. Yeah, let's check that out. Next strap. Okay, looks like they included the uh, HDMI cables. We've got a HDMI to HDMI. Oh, it looks like an MHL cable. This would be for maybe an Android phone or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some iPhone style cables here. We've got the uh, US uh, AC power lead. It looks like we've got uh, some more power leads. And it looks like another charger. I'll have to go through that more in detail. And actually, if you guys want to uh, subscribe, now would be a good time to see us flying that thing. Got a neck strap. Looks like a uh, screwdriver of some sort, probably to tools. tools, change out the props. We got the little rubber bobbins for the gimbal. For the gimbal. Mm -hmm. Very cool, very cool. Well, let's move this stuff out of the way and check out the goods. Let's get to the goods. This case is really nice. I am actually impressed that it comes with this case. So all in all, cost for this retail is somewhere under $3,000, yes. which uh, at the AMA show we were talking about is good or bad because for the value, you get all these things. You get the light bridge, you get the uh, intelligent battery, the transmitter, you get a lot of different uh, components that are higher filter. end in price. Very filter cool. for the camera. ND filter. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's for shooting in uh, different uh, light conditions light and conditions. things like that. So. Um, we're talking about the AMA show, the different pr the price range, the sub 3000 for the single operator and then sub 3500 for the uh, this is the US market for the dual operator setup which 
we mentioned would be a good thing and a bad thing. The good yes. thing about it would be that it'll kind of deter those new guys that, you know, will think twice about buying something this expensive and, and flying over the it. White House, yes. wrecking it into a garage, um, you know, putting it where it doesn't belong, flying over restricted airspace. So I think it might deter those type of people. Hopefully it will help. Yes, well, uh, this is not as easy as a Phantom either. Okay. Because it won't fly just out of the box. You gotta, you know, read the, the serial numbers, download firmwares. You know, basically, it has to be fully dialed in. Okay. Before it can actually take off, it won't actually let you take, take off, off the without ground reading. without reading. You it. mentioned serial numbers. What's that for? That's to register the product. Well, you have to register the product. If, uh, uh, from what I've heard, is this product comes locked down. And once you enter all the serial numbers and upgrade all the firmwares, then it's going to allow you to actually activate the motors and get ready for the maiden flight. And is that just the initial flight or is that every time? Is there like a sequence or anything like no, that? No, that's just the first flight. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Well, uh, this is a first look for us. I know that there's other reviews out there of the DJI Inspire 1. I mean, this thing is just a beast. It actually feels Shut a lot like... Yeah, uh, we were talking to... Um, I'm trying to Romeo, the uh, guy in charge of education and whatnot. I'm not sure what the title means, but he was very knowledgeable about the Inspire One, and he told us a lot of really cool things. Optical flow sensor. Yes. Um, from what we understand, this will, in situations like, for example, with the Phantom, if you're flying indoors, you don't have a GPS lock, mm -hmm. so you're pretty much flying in uh, attitude, attitude mode, mode, which means that if you push the sticks to the left, it'll hold its altitude, altitude, but it will continue moving in that plane that it's currently headed in. This optical flow will allow you to, uh, from my understanding, inside, indoors, lock onto the ground. The ground it'll correct. take an image of the ground, process that image, lock it down there. Also, you've got the uh, sonar, which will send a uh, audio, a low frequency audio or sonar, you know, signal to the ground, bounce back up, measure it, and that's how it holds its altitude. altitude so it will lock in. So basically it will act in GPS mode indoors. Yes. Very cool, very cool. Very stable machine. Yeah, well, I can't wait to get out and fly this thing. Um, if you guys have any questions for us, if you guys want us to do anything specific with it, uh, you guys want to figure out more text and details and want us to go in and uh, poke around a little bit more, please leave that in the comments below. If you guys like seeing these reviews and uh, our buddies and other vendors sending us cool products to review and hearing our honest opinions about them, make sure you guys click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Tony, thank you for bringing new, fun, and okay. exciting toys to the Team Legit hangar and adding this to our arsenal of already well-equipped aircrafts. Do you think this will fly in the rain? I don't know. Should we try it? <laughs> We're having a nice rainy day here in Southern California. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll give you guys a little bit more flight review of the DJI Inspire 1. It should not be operating in this airspace. This guy is clearly and blatantly disregarding the safety of everybody in the aircraft that he's flying near. He is actually flying over an international active airport. He's flying over commercial airplanes that are probably filled with hundreds of passengers. He's flying in the direct path of 